infinity. In its simplest definition, it simply means without limit. It's not a destination, it's not a size. We might have all first heard of No Limit from Master P in the 90s and his No Limit Soldiers. <laughs> now, the easiest examples of infinity come from mathematics. For example, if I take the integers, the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, I can continue on forever and it has no limit. But infinities have these crazy, strange properties. If you take the numbers between the whole numbers, take, for example, the numbers between 1 and 2, there are more of them than there are integers. So not all infinities have the same sizes. And in physics, we encounter these infinite sums. Take, for example, if I add all the integers, but I double the integer every time. If I take 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16, and I continue to infinity, and I add up all those numbers, guess what it equals? It equals negative 1, believe it or not. If you stop before infinity, you get a really big number. But if you carry it out to infinity, you get negative 1. Now, mathematical abstraction is one thing, but where does infinity manifest itself in the real world? It's really difficult to find. For example, some people believe that space is infinite. We, with our instruments, we can measure billions of light years. And what we've just discovered is that all of the universe that we can see out to our horizon, because beyond that, the light hasn't yet had time to reach us, is only this tiny region of all the universe that is. But is it infinite? In fact, no one really knows. But the universe may be like the surface of a ball. It has no end, but yet it's finite. The universe may actually be like that. Now, there's another place in physics where we know that infinity actually does show up. If you take an elementary particle, say like an electron, as it travels through space, it can spontaneously become two photons, two particles of light. And each one of these can spontaneously become a matter and antimatter particle. And each one of them can spontaneously become two photons. And each one of them can spontaneously become matter, antimatter. And you end up with this infinite sum of possibilities and particles and photons. And does that really exist? Yes, it does. And the way we know is because when we do a calculation with quantum electrodynamics, and then we make a measurement, and we compare the prediction of the calculation with the measurement, it's one of the most accurate predictions that science is actually able to make. They agree to 15 decimal places. And I'll challenge you to attempt to measure anything to even seven decimal places. Now, mathematical abstraction is one thing. The universe is one thing. And elementary particles is one thing. But where do infinities really impact our lives? In the words of Deepak Chopra, you and I are infinite choice makers. We live in a field of all possibility where at all moments we're, we have access to infinite choices. And I don't need to look any farther than my own life to recognize that just like adding the ever doubling integers to get bigger and bigger numbers actually ends up giving you a very small negative number, the sum of all the choices that we make in our lives, even if many of them are negative, you can find that it sums to a very large positive value. And so for me, that infinity is hope. And that's the infinity that matters to me. Thank you. Thank you.